So the project started when we began sifting through the fly genome, the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster, and we were looking for genes that were specific to insects. Um, meaning that they would be uh, an, an invention that insects could come up with to do something biological. But something that caught our eye was a list of several dozen uh, proteins that fell into the, uh, a class of ion channels called ionotropic glutamate receptors. Glutamate receptors are the main mediators of fast neuronal transmission in, in, in the brain. So humans and animals are able to think and move and remember things because they have glutamate receptors at their synapses. So they sit deep in the brain and respond to neurotransmitters. So we wondered what would glutamate receptors be doing in the fly antenna? And could they, um, in a very crazy way, actually be functioning as odorant receptors? And so we did a series of experiments to make the case. So first we find they are expressed in interesting subsets of, of olfactory neurons in the fly antenna, which is the organ that smells odors. We find the protein sitting on the part of the cell that's exposed to odors in the antenna, not very deep in the brain. And when we start moving these genes, which we call IR genes, ionotropic receptor genes, we can make cells acquire new chemical sensitivity. So a cell that normally responds to ammonia now will respond to phenylacetaldehyde, which smells to humans like a cross between freshly mown grass and honey. This paper is a really surprising finding that, that insects have decided to vastly expand the repertoire of glutamate receptors and put them to work not um, in functioning in the nervous system uh, where they sense neurotransmitters, but functioning to detect external odors such as smells. And it's really interesting that um, plant genomes also have glutamate receptors. Um, it, it's always been a puzzle why plants would want to have uh, neurotransmitter receptors given that plants don't have brains or nervous systems. So we'd like to speculate that maybe uh, this represents an ancient solution for sensing molecules in the environment as well as molecules at synapses.